Hey everyone, Brian Lagunas here. Uh, I just wanted to take a quick moment to record this video to talk about an issue a lot of you are having trying to do .NET Core 3 development inside Visual Studio 2019. Now, if you watched any of my past videos, I specifically said to use Visual Studio 2019 Preview because Visual Studio 2017 does not support .NET Core 3 development anymore. And that's still true today. However, on February 27th, Microsoft released Visual Studio 2019 RC, release candidate. If there's a chance that when you watch that video, and you said, oh yeah, Brian said use Visual Studio 2019. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And you went and installed the Visual Studio 2019 RC. Well, bad news, it's not gonna work for you out of the box because the RC version does not ship with .NET Core 3 Preview and it's not enabled in the options. If you're using Visual Studio 2019 RC, you're gonna have to go install .NET Core 3 Preview, then you're gonna go into your options and enable the .NET Core 3 Preview builds. So just for a quick reminder, let's see how we do that. Let's start by looking at what version of Visual Studio 2019 we're dealing with. So I have Visual Studio 2019 open, I click help, I scroll down about Microsoft Visual Studio, and I'm gonna see I am using Visual Studio Enterprise 2019 RC. So yes, I am using the version of Visual Studio that exhibits the problem. I can also confirm this by trying to open a project that is a .NET Core 3 application. In this case, I have one here called WPF App 1, and we can see an exception is thrown saying this project cannot be loaded. Okay, we know we have the problem. Let's go ahead and open up a command prompt and let's verify that we have the .NET Core 3 SDK installed. So we'll type .NET dash dash version. And I have 3.0.100-preview4 build 010667. So I do in fact have the .NET Core 3 preview installed. If you don't have the .NET Core 3 preview installed, go watch my video on creating a .NET Core 3 WPF application and I'll walk you through all the steps. Since I have this installed, all I have to do is go into Tools, Options, scroll down to Projects and Solutions, select .NET Core, and check the box saying Use Previews of the .NET Core SDK, and hit OK. Once that is enabled, I'm going to right-click and reload my .NET Core 3 application, and now everything works fine. I can run the app, I can see the application's running, and I am ready to rock and roll on all my .NET Core 3 applications. I hope this video helped clear up any confusion around developing .NET Core 3 apps inside the Visual Studio 2019 RC. Like this video. If you have a question, leave a comment below. And as always, subscribe to my channel so you're notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.